the energy vibration um, reading for um, the month of April I want to say thank you um, this is for the Gemini for the month of April 2018 month of April is the energy met four weeks um, it is a fire month it is the month of movement um, transformation um, but it can be success and also victory depends on what situation you're going through it is a full fire month you are an air sign so um, there is going to be some balance for you but it's going to be a lot of stuff that is going on for you in the month of April you have the energy of a water energy that is supporting you and with the energy of this water energy this water energy is inner wisdom and guidance knowledge looking for the truth of a situation trying to find out what is the right direction to make what is the movement that is to be made I'm seeing that a lot of you Gemini's are going to be thinking about the relationship that you're in and that sort of a thing it is going to be um, transformation whether or not you're going to decide to go further in a relationship or go further um, at where you're working at this time or you are going to decide to move houses and that sort of a thing that is what I'm seeing going and um, playing in your mind over and over you're going to take this month to decide whether or not you're going to be moving what you will be doing with um, your house situation whether or not you want to move and make a change in your life or you want to um, you know get involved or don't you want to get involved you don't want to go further with a relationship that you're in because you're not feeling that is the right relationship so that sort of a thing is going to be coming up for you guys so I'm calling up in the angels and guides to come in to show us the energies for the Gemini so um, the energies for the Gemini's for the month of April in the first week you are finding your true self you're coming you're coming back the first week of April a lot of you Gemini's will be um, connecting with your true self okay the positive side of who you are because each and every person have a shadow side and it's as if you were um, on balance and now you're finding the true purpose of who you are and understanding who you are in the first week and in the first week you're going to be victorious and successful with that because you have the energy of the chariot helping you in the second week you have um, a situation with the Queen of Wands um, and we're going to see what effect does this Queen of One is going to have with you because um, it could be an um, Sagittarian because this week the second week has to do with inner strength which is the energy of a Sagittarian and this is a Queen of Wands coming up so in the second week you're going to have a situation to deal with with a, a Sagittarian okay it can be a Sagittarian for some people it can be an Aquarius for some people or it can be a Leo for some people third week you have the energy of the page of Pentacles coming um, the third week you're going to have to be paying out something some of you um, so um, be aware of this message is going to be coming in in the third week but we're going to see exactly what is going to be transpiring in the second week for you and the fourth and last week of the month you have uh, um, whatever the lies that has been told is now the truth comes out and this is now as ended okay so whatever lies and dishonesty and whatever that was done um, the truth have been told and now the ten of swords is falling out of you this is like an horrible card has but it's at the end of the month so this is going to be what happening at the end of the month okay Wow so you Gemini's so as I look at the situation in this month it's all about you finding your true inner guidance to whatever is transpiring you're trying to find your true inner guidance to whatever is transpiring in your life and especially you, the situation that you're going to be having to deal with either a Sagittarius a Leo or a um, Aquarian um, an Aries as we move forward we're looking to see what are joining the first week to the second week um, as Sagittarians you guys have to deal with a Sagittarian because this is the energy of the Sagittarian so whatever is happening you guys have to deal with as Sagittarians and here it is coming back up so whatever is transpiring the ending of the first week to the second week whatever is transpiring you have to deal with a Sagittarian second week to the third week 
second week to the third week another six um, you are deciding to leave whatever the situation is behind and move forward in your life okay this is the decision that you are going to be decide to be taken okay and it's supposed to be upright this is the situation you're deciding to leave the situation behind and move forward okay so whatever the situation is you're deciding to leave it behind and move forward third week to fourth week you're connecting with the energy of the lovers okay so um, for um, people who are looking for relationship for the single people um, the ending for the third week to the fourth week um, you will be connecting with someone new okay you will be connecting with someone new so um, this is good so um, you know what this is saying is that for the people who are connected with um, the Aries Leo or Sagittarians you will be deciding to move away from this situation whatever lies and things that was told and that sort of a situation you're going to be ending it and move forward and you're going to be really connecting with your a, a new love that is coming in your life finding inner strength and, and moving forward you're going to be connecting with this um, new love that is coming in your life and also you are going to be connecting uh, with other people and deciding to make um you know to work together with other people this could be the sagittarius that you're deciding you know um okay i'm going to end the situation because i'm getting married and this was you know this is my ex so i'm going to decide to clear up whatsoever because i'm getting married you have the energy of the four of swords so there's a lot of um, helpful energies that is coming in and you're working together and um, you're working hard but yet still um, um, in the third week you're going to take some rest okay in the third week you're going to take some rest because um, in the second week you'll be trying to work with the Sagittarian or um, this fire sign person to bring balance to a situation then you're going to leave it behind and focus on your relationship and then in the third week you are looking for rest okay you have ended this situation and you're saying okay I've ended this and then I'm going to look forward in my life the last energy the outcomes of the month is the seven the eight of Pentacles so this month is going to be a month of focusing trying to balance out your financial situation and focusing on what is better because I'm seeing that a lot of you have a relationship you're by you, you, you know it's as if you're finding yourself you're seeing a situation what you have done and you know you, uh, you you're feeling so you've seen a situation what you have done and um, whoever that has stabbed you in the back and the rest of it but it's gonna be ending the month is gonna be ending in a good note because the ten of swords is falling out your back and um, you have done something to this woman whatever you have done to this fire sign person you know you're looking back at it and you're trying to work together with this person to bring balance okay so the outcomes is the eight of Pentacles so it's going to be a month for you guys that you're trying to balance out a situation that you yourself has actually clear um, some of you have clear this uh, situation so to break down the month you are coming in the month of April you know feeling yourself and understanding you're having inner strength because you have to deal with a situation and um, it can be at work for some people but it can be also that you have career a situation for someone else and now you have to resolve the situation and you're thinking you know I'm so sorry for what I do I'm gonna resolve it with this person and move on and leave it behind for some people you're working very hard and they are saying that you need to take some rest for some people they're saying you're working hard you need to take some rest and connect with your partner okay this is not a soul this is a soulmate relationship uh, for some people it is a situation where you need to take time off and decide whether or not you want to go forward with this person because you realize that there was a lot of lies so your no partner you found out that there was a lot of lies that has happened and uh, what you're doing is um, trying to figure out whether or not you want to go forward with this person because you have realized that this person is only in your life for financial um, for money and your ex was not like that your ex was 
you, you you know wanted to build something with you but this partner that you have it's all about the money for this partner this is what I'm seeing that your ex because your ex was someone was was you know an Aries or have the fire sign energy in them and they were someone who was balanced but you know whatever has transpired you have done something so that this person kind of move on and you have realized that this person has moved on with their life and you are now in a relationship with another um, you know with someone that you're realizing that this person is only in a relationship for only money and you're thinking do I want and you realize you have you know you've really realized that this whoever this person is this um, person that you're in a relationship with that they have told a lot of lies okay not the fire sign person but the person you're now in a relationship with that could be a cancer or maybe another um, um, air sign person and you're thinking should I go forward so you're focusing yourself to heal whatever you have done to the fire sign person because you're seeing regrets that you have done something to this fire sign person that you know this person didn't deserve and you went on in a relationship with someone else and you're seeing that this person is only for money and nothing else and it's not a healthy relationship so you are going to use this month and focus in your work and kind of focus on what it is do I want to move on do I not want to move on okay um the outcomes is you know you're working but the center is going to be that you're deciding to leave a situation behind to say sorry for whatever you have done and leave a situation behind you are deciding to move forward in your life um, and um, um, you know uh, this relationship that you have you're really deciding whether or not you want to be in this relationship okay so let's look and see what career has for the Gemini women over the age of 40 in the month of April what is career the world the Gemini women over the age of 40 the energy of the world and ending is going to come in so some of you might um, move on to another job which is much better which is a much more um, you know connected with you and some of you are getting a new start okay in work as we look to see what is happening in work for the Gemini men in the month of April we have the energy of the Knight of Pentacles and he's here twice so um, someone who is at, um, between the age of 25 and 40 is going to come in and support you in your work and this is going to be um, very very good for the people 18 and over 18 between the age of 18 and um, 25 you are going to have um, working together with other people so this is going to be good whether it's in study whether it's in your work and career or you're working and studying there is going to be a positive movement forward of you um, on the right part working with others let's look at love for the ladies over the age of 40 what's in love for the Gemini over the age of 40 in April you Gemini's there's um, um okay um, um this is an energy that you could be with a, a cancer for some people you're with a cancer or you're going to meet a cancer or you're in a relationship with a cancer but for some people um, your relationship is not on balance um, in the sense that there are secrets in your relationships there are secrets your partner could be in love with someone else your partner could not want to be with you but it's gonna come out there are secrets in a relationship with the people um, you women um, for the some of you can be um, with a Scorpio uh, a cancer but um, for some of you there are secrets that you're not aware of in a relationship okay I'm sorry for the howling of the dogs it's my neighbors okay so let's look forward and see what is love for the Gemini men what is love for the Gemini men help is coming in okay um, 
whatever is transpiring because I'm seeing that some of you men are deciding whether or not I want to go forward in this relationship whether or not this is what I want so you're focusing yourself and you're asking you know for help because um, some of you are missing um, someone else some of you are in love with someone else and some of you um, can't you know what need to go further but you're in love with someone else but you're afraid of saying this because you're in a relationship that this person is holding on to you you're in a relationship that is not of love but is of monetary it does person whoever this woman is it's all about money for her in this relationship so be aware of this okay for you men whether you're with a same-sex partner or with a woman it's all based on not love but materialistic gains for the people between the ages of 18 and 25 you have the energy of justice some of you could be getting married some of you could be um, deciding to live together some of you could be deciding to move forward in your life in a positive way so this is also um, good for the people 18 until 25 money um, um for you guys is going to be coming in so let's do the money section because the money section comes up it says no more complaining you guys no more complaining whatever you're complaining over no more complaining complaints are affirmations of victimized wood which is never true in the spiritual form take back your god-given power by affirming that you have an abundance of choices and freedom with your increased confidence and assessment watch these positive affirmation bloom in reality and yes it's going to bloom because you have the energy of the ten of Pentacles for you Gemini so it's going to be an extremely extremely wonderful month in money for you Gemini's um, this is going to be good okay let's go and look at the zodiac energy so for the Sun people those are the people who were born between 12 a.m. and 6 p.m. we have the energy of the scorpions coming in so some of you are going to be connecting with the scorpion people that is coming in for the sunrise people and you have the um, Sagittarian and this is a month where the Sagittarians are here because the Sagittarians are here in the first and second week for you guys so you guys are going to be working with a Sagittarian so whatever is transpiring you guys are going to be dealing with the Sagittarians and the scorpions for you Sun sign people you people who were born in the day okay so let's look at the people who were born in the night okay so here is the energy of the scorpion because the energy of the energy you ladies are going to be deal who were born in the daytime 12 a.m. till um, 6 p.m. you're going to be dealing with cancers and the scorpion now we're going to the moon people the people who were born after 6 p.m. till 12 a.m. in the morning you are going to be dear oh, the Gemini's you come to support your own self so it's all about love for you moon people and you'll be connecting with the cancers the cancers are here some of you women are going to be connecting with the cancers so this is good because you the Gemini's you come to support your own self you are and the um, and Venus so there's a lot of love coming in for you guys this is actually beautiful because Venus the planet of Venus is a planet of love and it's coming in with a lot of energies and you have your own so for the lunar people the people who were born um, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. the Gemini's your own sign is here helping you in love okay so this is why you have the energy of the hermit and the last energies I have for you guys it says and it is from the universe have your back when I focus on my inner light I see the world through the lens of love when I focus on my inner light I see the world 
through the lens of love and this is wonderful so what is happening is that you're really really transpiring you're really making changes in your life you're really seeing situations for what they are you're really connecting you're really deciding that it's all about you now and the relationships you're going to decide whether or not you want to be in a relationship where it's all about materialistic needs or you want to be in a relationship that it's all about positive energies that is coming in so when you focus on you know to find the right person it's going to work out namaste until next month